हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज शेफ राम गोपाल एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट वेरियस टाइप ऑफ कलनरी हर्ब्स व्हिच इज यूज्ड इन द किचन नाउ देयर आर हंड्रेड्स ऑफ वैराइटीज ऑफ हर्ब्स व्हिच इज यूज्ड इन एनी पर्टिकुलर कलनरी एरिया लाइक मिंट बे लीफ रोजमेरी थाइम ओरिगेनो शाइव्स टेरगन मार्जोरम सेज एंड मेनी मोर राइट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द चैप्टर talking about the objective of the chapter you need to understand identify the various kinds of different uh, herbs which is used in the kitchen its aroma taste properties and food pairing and the storage right similarly you need to understand after completion of the chapter you need to understand uh, the different kinds of herbs their application in various dishes handling their storage and the um, you know you need to understand uh, how it look like right so herbs are the kind of edible plants used in different dishes they are used for different purposes and their different parts are used in very many different kinds of dishes like roots also use stems also use leaf are used and uh, you know, we prepare it for um, you know we use these um, these these plants for aroma taste texture and it also increase the appearance of the dish like it is the, the, the there are uh, you know almost all kind of herbs are used as a garnishing purposes but uh, they are also used for flavoring and they enhance the taste they improve the medicinal value in any of the particular food product right so going to the first herb called basil basil is one of the holy plant as all of us know uh, basil is also known as french basil or sweet basil or tulsi this is one of the sacred plant in india every household you will see basil the leaves of basil have numerous oil glands with aromatic volatile oil it is indigenous to the lower hills of punjab and himachal pradesh cultivated throughout india it is also cultivated in southern france egypt belgium hungary and other mediterranean countries and also in usa so basil is one kind of a herb which is uh, used in uh, different uh, types of culinary preparation like we use in sauces for flavoring uh, there is one specific variety of sauce which is only prepared with basil which is called pesto pesto is uh, you know italian sauce and uh, it is uh, used with pasta or you can is use in any of the culinary preparation so that's about basil the next one is bay leaf bay leaf is you know one kind of a herb which is uh, in which we uh, we use just a leaf of uh, bay leaf so dried bay leaf are used in very many different kinds of culinary preparations uh, it is cultivated in europe america and uh, arabian countries in india as well bay leaf are used as flavoring in soup stew meat fish sauces and in confectionery preparations but there you need to take care of one thing whenever you are serving um, the any of the food product including the bay leaf you supposed to remove the bay leaf at the time of uh, presentation or whenever you are serving it because bay leaves are uh, you know only and only used for flavoring purposes you are not supposed to serve it down right that's about bay leaf the next one is chervil it is one of the aromatic herb originating from central asia these days it is common in in uh, all around europe this herb has a unique flavor goes well in mild soup omelets sauces and the fish it loses its flavor with prolonged heating normal chervil curly chervil are you know some of the common varieties of uh, chervil you will find used in continental cuisine it is also used in mediterranean cuisine and uh, um, you know very less used in uh, indian cuisine right Uh, next one is the coriander coriander is one of the thing uh, uh, which is a very common herb and uh, commonly used in indian cuisine uh, in continental cuisine as well as in mediterranean cuisine uh, the another name of coriander is cilantro or in hindi it is called dhania right the name coriander is based on the greek word coppice which means bug right the aroma of this fruit is warm nutty and spicy while the leaves have a strong odor In India coriander is an essential part of the curry powder essential in part of the indian masalas as well so coriander you can use it for garnishing you use it uh, for um, you know uh, flavoring the dishes or it also enhance the medicinal properties of any of the food product right that's about coriander next one is the dill dill is one of the herbaceous plant the ripe you know or light brown seeds emit an aromatic odor Uh, if we talk about the origin and the distribution of this plant european dill is cultivated in england germany romania turkey usa and russia indian dill is native of northern india is uh, bolder than the european dill it is cultivated as a cold weather crop in many parts of india 
if i talk about the uses of dill dill seed is used both whole and ground as a condiment in soups salads processed meats sausages and pickling so dill is one of the and it is also used for garnishing purposes looks very nice and attractive whenever you are using dill in any of the preparation next one is marjoram it's one kind of a herb you know a herb of which there are various types of the most familiar being sweet pot and wild marjoram sweet marjoram is most common in mediterranean cookery uh, the sweet aromatic scent but a fairly delicate flavor which is used in soup stock and very many other different culinary preparations next one is parsley uh, parsley commonly parsley is used in the garnishing purposes or uh, you can chop it down and use in any of the preparation parsley uh, you can dry it also parsley <clears throat> whenever you are drying it up the dried aromatic leaf with a dense foliage and a white flowers give a very distinctive flavor to the dish the bright green leaves are finely divided and curled there are you know two main types of horticulture parsley are available one cultivated for leaves and uh, which is found in india and other grows for its turnip like roots leaves and seeds are used as a spice the aroma of the herb is characteristic fragrant and spicy due to the volatile oil present in it next one is rosemary if i talk about rosemary it is one kind of a herb which is popularly used in continental cuisine mm, an aromatic evergreen shrub native to mediterranean country the meaning of uh, rosemary is rose of the sea this is used both fresh and dry it goes well with marinades grill ragu and game dishes also gives a delicate flavor to milk uh, whenever it is used in desserts different kinds of dessert preparations so uh, it goes very well with the potatoes as well and lamb as well right it gives a distinctive flavor to the dish right talking about sage sage is a hardy sub shrub stems are white woolly 32 to 60 cm tall leaves and grayish green aromatic plant on drying leaves turn silvery gray with soft velvety texture sage is native to mediterranean area it grows wild in dalmatian region of yugoslavia uh, cultivation uh, is it is cultivated in yugoslavia italy albania turkey portugal spain cyprus england canada and usa in india it is you know uh, cultivated in jammu as well right so sage is one kind of a uh, herb which is used in uh, stock st- uh, stews or uh, various different kinds of continental preparations as well next one is a tarragon an aromatic plant originated from central asia this herb was merely reputed to the care for a snake bite it has a flavor you know uh, similar like to any seed traditionally it is used for fish and egg dishes and tarragon vinegar is used for dressing the different varieties of salads as well next one is a thyme thyme is one of the very commonly used ingredient in italian cuisine an aromatic plant with small gray leaves and small purplish flower it is an essential oil known as thy- uh, it is having one of the essential oil known as thymol mm, use it is used fresh as well as dried uh thyme is one kind of a herb which is also used in scrambled eggs salad tomato dishes and lentils uh you can also use in uh, the trout preparation trout is one variety of fish in mutton preparation and in rabbit preparation it is also used in the production of liquor that's about thyme coming down to the next one is curry leaf uh curry leaf is one of the very commonly used uh, a uh, herb in uh, indian cuisine the leaves of curry a, a tree is uh, you know it's uh, kind of a spice and it's having a very great aroma right uh, curry leaf is mostly used in south indian cuisines and uh, it is used as a tempering and it gives medicinal value and a taste to the particular dish next one is the oregano oregano is a you know a one kind of herb which is 30 to 90 cm high branched woody stems and you know having uh, hairy leaves now, oregano is endemic to mediterranean region but it is cultivated in mexico italy turkey and dominican republic and greece as well uh, in india it is found in temperate himalayas from kashmir to sikkim so uh, oregano is one kind of a herb which is uh, popularly used in italian cuisine as well so th- these are the different kinds of herbs we have discussed about 
सो इफ़ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन ऑलवेज आस्क मी यू कैन ऑलवेज कॉन्टैक्ट मी दैट्स अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ हर्ब्स द डिफरेंट कलनरी प्रिपरेशन इन विच वी आर यूजिंग द वेरियस काइंड ऑफ हर्ब्स सो टिल द टाइम स्टे सेफ स्टे हेल्दी थैंक यू वेरी मच